Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, and it is night time here, so maybe it's posted during the day for you, but uh, it's Memorial Day and um, there's fireworks going on, so don't mind that. And uh, again, thanks for joining me. Uh, so let's go over this report from January. And again, I'm going over the Space Code Far Center T because that's my favorite. I like the woo stuff. And this is like the creme de la creme of woo. <laughs> It doesn't get any more woo than this. Okay, so the data sets are indicating that the awakening wave that has moved through global humanity since at least the early 1990s will be touted as being the cause of some curious changes in humans that will be noticed over the next few years. Not only surface variants like new skin colors. Bruh, I would love to have like green as my skin color. Just blend in with the trees. Be called a tree man. Be awesome and new colors slash shapes for the sense for senses. Colors I would understand as people can see uh, more of the color spectrum. Um, certain colors would become more visible to them because I, I would assume the physiology, of the physiology of the eye would change. There would be more, I guess, receptors that would enable this. But I'm not sure what shapes for the senses mean. So Cliff, if you're watching, please clarify what the hell shapes for the senses mean. Okay, so he's, he goes, also internal differences in both physiology, ah, so physically how you're operating, and the operating biochemistry. So both how you're, f I would say, I would assume, or rather presume that how you're physiologically structured and then the operating chemistry within your body, you know, will be noticed and finally discovered as to be separating generations. Okay, neato. Further, the data shows that the effect will be backtracked and the beginning placed on the millennial generation. So, <laughs> damn you, millennials. <laughs> you, you've destroyed <laughs> not only all the other industries, but you destroyed the old industry of having, like, you know, <laughs> stagnant skin color. <laughs> and you, you've destroyed operating biochemistry. Anyways, ah, that's a meme for those of you who haven't heard about the, you know, millennials destroying everything. Anyways, let's go. Other data sets within the space code farts are attempting to describe new technology. Ooh, this one's cool. That will be that we will label a incoherencer. Okay, that sounds tight. Actually, that sounds coherent. <laughs> the data shows that the incoherencers will be a device developed in private Eastern lab that will alter the coherence coefficient or quotient, sorry. Coherence quotient of cellular structure of biological matter. Okay, neato. Apparently a dangerous device, but one with huge potential as it will turn matter into goo, that is constituent parts, basically base proteins. Neat, neat. While sort of yucky in concept, the idea has a practical or has practical application in totally undoing disease science, bro. That sounds awesome. The data is showing that the idea behind the device is to be able to uh, tag tissue types by frequency. This, is, this sounds like Rife Machine all over again within the body, but obviously this is gonna be better and awesomer, I would assume, with the body, with an, and then to send out rays that hunt down and decohere um, the target tissues. The data sets are also suggesting that this is but an evolutionary stage towards the reverse effect. Ooh, some years down the road, wherein the device can rebuild or build a new in situ, complete human uh, organs. Bro, no more need for organ harvesting. You get yourself one of these devices, you just rebuild an organ, you know. You probably still shouldn't, you know, you should probably try to avoid uh, going to the area where you would need um, re or you would need a new organ, meaning Aside from accidents, if you don't have a healthy, clean diet, you know, and you know, you build up gunk over the years, you're gonna need a new, you know, organ. You should avoid that. You should always have a good diet and try to be as natural as possible. Because in my mind, while yes, it can rebuild you like new organs, I would I would guess, I would presume that it would be probably a painful <laughs> process or at least It'll have some sort of discomfort, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm that's my opinion. It doesn't say this in the report, but you know, if you're, I'm, I'm imagining like putting a ray in like near my kidney and regrowing that ish. 
I would assume there would be certain neurological effects there, like pain, pain receptors would be going off and or something, you know, I probably feel something there. And, you know, given my paranoia towards the negative, I would assume that it would be pain. But hey, it could be pleasure too. I don't know. But this is awesome. So Cliff says, so pretty cool, which it is because basically if you can rebuild organs, I mean, there's no need for the organ harvesting black market. Like you just zap and boom, you got a new organ. Speaking of which, I mean, does, does it actually like work for everything? Like, you know, you know if I wanted to regrow my like um, finger or um, toes or my nose, I wanted to, I wonder if it would work for that. I wonder if we can get it to work for that because organs in my mind are like, you know, your kidneys and your liver, the things that are in there. But I wanna be able to rebuild like bone and stuff and whatnot. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Looks to be making its first appearance almost unnoticed probably by everyone but us guys in late 2016 and 2017. Okay, again, if you're new to this and you're watching this one, you should you should start with a December one. So it should all be in a playlist and you should start with a December one and don't mind the, the thing outside. The outside noise is just uh, fireworks. It's Memorial Day here, so that's neat. Like I keep saying, timing is a snitch, okay? It's a female dog, it just, it just is. I think Cliff was like off by like three to four years here. So this may be coming this year or next year. But again, I'm not sure. You probably have to ask Cliff. And given the fact that he's super duper busy, you know, he probably may not get back to you, but he may, he may I don't know. You know, you, you know, the only way to know is to ask. So, you know, if Cliff, you're, if you're watching this, what would be the time period for this? Like, what would be the new time period? The data does suggest that leaks of information about some of the fundamental discoveries will be showing up about six months ahead of the first crude application, which may be in a crime scene or biohazard cleanup areas. Okay, my idea here is, sorry, I'm gonna undo that. How do I, all right. Jeez, is there not a way to highlight this? Oh, there, yep. Come on, there's a way to like not highlight this. You know what, it doesn't matter. Basically the crime scene and biohazard cleanup areas, I'm going to make the interpretation that it has something to do with uh, the CCP virus where because of the virus, the group, the, you know, the private Eastern lab, those guys are going to get some funding as a, as a means by which to deal with the virus. I'm, I'm, I'm projecting, I'm not sure if this is going to happen, but the way I see this manifesting or emerging in the, in the probability vector of life is this is, you know, given this specific virus, we're gonna, you know, somebody in the Eastern area is gonna pay attention to this lab, give them the funding, and then, you know, bada bing, bada boom, they're gonna have it. And that's probably why it's gonna be near a biohazard cleanup area, or maybe even a crime scene in the sense that the people that got it, you know, turned against uh, some of the other people that were funding it or something like that. But again, not sure. Um, may emerge in a completely different way, doesn't matter. Um, other more immediate data sets, dominated include some new sets going to the idea that pheromones, we're gonna go pink here, will be discovered to be used by fighters within professional fights, multiple million dollars wagered with the intent to weaken the opponent at a hormonal response level. Dang, son, that sounds like fun. Many of these sets are also cross-linked over to the DIY bio sets of previous reports and are pointing to the rise of a new sense industry. All right. New sense industry. That's awesome. So sense as a mechanism of dealing with hormonal responses in which illegal pheromones and other epigenetic triggers will be sold on a black market for nefarious purposes. Okay, if you can get to this level of dealing with sense where it produces these specific effects, so let's see. Um, the data sets uh, relating to the fighters show that sense will be discovered to have detectable and debilitating effects on the human body. So some of the effects include, or cited include, inappropriate opening and cycling of vein valves in the legs rising core temperatures to the point that weakening effects are perceptible. Other sets report blurred vision, loss of hearing, accepting only your own heart. 
um, meaning I guess you only hear your own heartbeat. Um, and excessive sweating, some of the more visible effects will include loss of loss over bodily functions, including bowel and bladder, and also nasal mucus production. So sounds like for a while the professional fighting is gonna be very messy indeed. So if you can generate these effects, I was thinking, um, what if you could discover scents that enable you to have like out of body experiences or like lucid dreaming or like the occultic stuff, the cool stuff, you know, the psionic stuff. Cause that would be, I feel like the best purpose for this. Whoever these companies are, I wanna go talk to them and be like, hey guys, listen, there's a bunch of people that wanna learn lucid dreaming, make a scent that makes it to where, you know, they just sniff and boom, they become lucid instantly. I'm assuming it has something to do with B6, the vitamin. I'm assuming that because I've read reports that vitamin B6 enables better dream recall. So I'm a, and given dream recall as a path to lucidity, or as I'm, well, it's used as a path to becoming lucid in your dream, this would be useful. Um, I would seriously talk to these people and be like, listen guys, I need a lucidity triggering scent because that would be super cool. Other and perhaps stranger forecasts are arising from the convergence of an old Alta forecast of a time accident. <sighs> don't take with time, guys. Time is not, don't mess around with that. And a cafe full of people as witnesses slash victims and the newly arrived sets that are suggesting that a local time space experiment in a lab will be bumped into rotation and that will be, that will cause a squinge out of time. I have no idea what this means. Like, I just, what is a squinge? Okay, what, define the word squinge, but okay. All right, we're gonna go with it. When this occurs, the cafe patrons will be witnesses to the disappearance of a man out of space time in front of their eyes as he crosses in front of the building in which the lab is housed. So he just walks in and he just disappears from space time. So does he go to the other side? I wonder if this is a way to go into the spirit world. <laughs> it's the after death states. Hmm. When this occurs, the cafe patrons will be witnesses. Okay, I read that. Other effects in the time distortion are forecast to linger. Okay. In the area for a number of weeks. Jesus, this is not a good accident. This will come to the attention of some hidden authorities. Ooh, I like hidden authorities. The best type of authorities. <laughs> because when they get exposed, you know they existed, which is good. As they seal off and investigate the semi-persistent time anomaly. Ah, okay, it's gonna be semi-persistent. The idea coming out of the data set says maybe hinting that the time accident forecast will be secrets revealed moment. Giggity, that's awesome. I love it when secrets are revealed, especially about like time and stuff. Cause then, then you're playing with the reality of stuff. Like then you're playing the real game. Mm -hmm. For those who pay attention as a section slash division of the breakaway civilization will be forced into more or less public view. Also there are sets indicating that the investigators themselves will become participants as the time problem is described as softening ro local reality. I don't know what that means, but that sounds amazing. In the sense that I'm reading about it, it sounds cool, but the actual thing may not be amazing. <laughs> but I wanna know what softening local reality means. Like I wanna see it. Uh, and amplifying some form of electrical system. Okay, geez, that's not good. That in turn causes the investigators to have a fault to fall back, to have to fall back and to cordon off the area. So they're gonna have to deal with some electrical stuff. Neato. Again, sometimes that will be, or sorry, again, something that will be bringing unwanted public scrutiny. ED note, time accidents will not necessarily display any form of debris, though they may, as in this instance, or as in this instance forecast, it will be unpredictable in its nature and amount. That some time accident locations may look totally normal until you wander in and your consciousness encounters the time, the wonky time. Okay. All right. I'm super hoping my consciousness isn't, isn't involved in any of this. Um, I wouldn't know how to react. I would, okay, maybe where you just like, you walk in and it's just like, you're walking to a, a different time frame. Like you, 
Or maybe you walk into the world of the dead or the spirit world or something. I wonder if that's how it would occur. But that's speculation, not in the report as you can see. The space code force entity is further forecasting that breakaway guys. Okay. We'll be very upset by the huge number of UFOs that will be attracted to the time, max, and location. Of course, UFOs are probably everywhere where the the highest uh, levels of reality is being messed with, right? And time is one of the highest levels of reality to me, in my opinion. It's probably not a fact. It actually, it is not a fact. It is, it is my opinion. Um, when you can mess with time, mm, you're messing with some fundamental parameters of the universe here. This further causes public uproar and several dozen videos and puts additional pressure on their problem of containment. Okay. As a developing subset of the time accident, primary descriptor set, there are some indications that the whole industry of psychology, or sorry, psychiatry, psychology, by the way, is when, you know, you just go and talk to the guy or girl and you're talking about your problems and dealing with them and, you know, they run psycho uh, psychoanalysis uh, from the Freudian view and the and psychiatry is when they pres prescribe drugs basically they just give you SSRIs or some sort of drug not always SSRIs but you know that's what they're associated with these psychiatrists anyways the whole industry of psychiatry is, and mind medications are going to take a big hit to credibility as the details of space as the details of the, the space-time warping accidents bring out issues of consciousness as a necessary persistent Persit, I can't even speak today. Necessarily persit, uh, precipitating factor. <sighs> okay. All right. These sets would seem to be indicating that some form of taint will go to psychiatry in general as tens of thousands of people directly witnessing or directly perceiving the time-space accident and its ripples will say, BS to the pronouncements of the many psychiatrists who will, in essence, be saying delusional people at the request of the governments involved. The reason why the governments are involved is because obviously you don't want to say any of this to your population. Because then people start asking questions and then you gotta answer questions. And if you don't answer questions, you know, and if you can't answer questions, you, you know, there's, let's just say it's a bad thing for governments to deal with something like at this nature right because your whole worldview is built around a certain set of ideas these ideas would be disrupting to the main worldview which is why the governmental entities do not want people to be you know involved in perceiving these things all right so the detail sets would be providing a spreading influence as thousands of people make video testimonials as to the effect on themselves true the field will be polluted both by paid trolls and nut jobs, but there will still be thousands of true personal accounts of a time space ripple accident. In these sets, there are supporting sets going to the idea that the government and the breakaway civilization will be behest by problems as a result of the accident that will last for five years. I'm happy about that because then, you know, for five years, we're going to hear, we may not hear rumors, but, you know, for five years, they're going to have to deal with this. And the chances of us becoming more aware of them gets higher and it becomes, I would, I would love, I would love for it to become mainstream. New sets accruing to the secrets reveal sets within the Space Course Watch entity are growing in support of a ditch that will develop within the continent. Okay. Continental ditch guys. That's the new theory. Don't even maybe Antarctica. I'm just going to say it's probably Antarctica. You don't have to say maybe Cliff. You know what? No, Cliff can say whatever he wants, but I'm just gonna say it's Antarctica. I'm gonna go with Antarctica because it sounds fun. I'm making this up by the way. Cliff did say maybe. I'm gonna just straight up say Antarctica <laughs> because it's fun. Such so that ice shifts and ice moves away from the ditch. Uh, these sets may be referring to another instance of the expansion of the earth showing up. So expando planet model, go look that up on YouTube. Also look up plasma theory instead of the solid, uh, sorry, the magneto core. The, the earth apparently has a plasma core, which is awesome. These sets are showing that a major effort, lots of workers will be relocated in the response to the ditch showing up that is described as so large as to reshape the continent, whichever it may turn out to be. 
Honestly, I super hope it's like Antarctica. I kind of want to go there. I'm going to go work in like an Antarctic ditch. That'd be cool. Abandonment of the digital world in favor of the analog approach to engineering has developed as a complete uh, new lexical structure within the space guard farts entity. Huh. All right, let's go with pink. The data sets are showing that the limitations of digital thinking will be a hot point of discussion in 2016. Again, timing is a snitch, all right? Placing uh, events in locations of time. Adre you, know, you need to have a specific set of addresses to do that. Think about... Uh, think about it in terms of like an object you're placing instead of in space where you have coordinates, you're placing it in time where you need an address. And what we have as addressing systems are, are these things called calendars and we don't always get them right. So again, Cliff did his best. These, my supposition again is that Cliff's, all of this is gonna come true at some point. The points are wrong, but the, but the actual events are true. So again, 2016 is not, the correct one. I think somewhere down the line, we're going to see this, which is why I'm making videos about it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't. Um, in several areas of human activity includes space engineering and infrastructure engineering. So analog is going to be more favored. Much of this new language is focusing on new electrics. Oh my God. Yes. I want new electrics. That sounds awesome. And new magnetics. Mm. Areas of endeavor in which the forces and strengths of fields are such that digital structures this function. See, if UFOs are using like elect, like this type of electrics and magnetics, no wonder like our spacecrafts and our like all the crafts that we have are like disrupted. Just come close and they have like all these field technologies and like all of our like instrument goes haywire because they're dealing with like the magneto uh, sphere and like the ether and all that. We're here with like our little stick of a rocket and they're just like, yo, we're riding gravity waves. Go away. <laughs> like these guys are so advanced. Love it. All right. This will be, this will apparently surface within the mainstream academic engineering media prior to making it into the prestitute media. Okay. I'm going to be happy about that <clears throat> because then I can show academic stuff. This is great. In the case of the new electrics, these, these sets are showing giant and fundamental breakthrough into new physics. Bruh, I was so tired of the old physics. I want that new physics. This is great. That will be both exciting to the global pop, which is global population, especially the millennial generation. Yes, you guys are gonna have new colors and stuff, new biochemistry and new physics. Good for you, lucky bastards. <laughs> as well as being frightening to the powers that be and the deep state. The rebirth of analog is being described as both rising and, obs and obscure trend. The later descriptor points to misrepresent misinterpretation of the rise of analog under lots of other names, last labels before some visibility and proper naming occurs. At this point we will have, as described by the detailed data sets, a burgeoning, growing, creative analog world. Welcome to the new world, guys. All analog. That will be the realm of the new generations. While not the death of digital per se, the resources attached to the digital understanding of the universe will be waning while the analog rises. Basically, the analog, or sorry, the digital will be still there, right? But the analog will be the more preferred method. It's like, you can still buy a CD, but everybody right now is streaming music from Spotify. So you really don't have to buy a CD or have an MP3 player. Like that's what I'm seeing. That's my example in my mind. May not be an accurate way or metaphor to describe this again. If you want to be the one interpreting this, then go make your own damn videos. <laughs> this is my interpretation, damn it. <laughs> Get off my lawn. All right. Along with the rise of the analog approach to the world, data is showing that the fears of the powers that be will be manifesting. Further sets are going to the going to a rise of humanity's internal nature. Interesting. As a necessary part slash component of the analog view of reality. New supporting sets continue to grow in these areas that include disruptions and break breakdowns of digital world that will be that will deprive the powers that be of intrinsic power. Okay, I'm kinda happy with that. Screw those guys. I want my power. I want to be empowered on the individual level. I want, I want like the new electrics. I want to go around in like one of those awesome flying floaty thingies, the triangles. I want one. <laughs> okay. 
New sets with a uh, Yemen geographic anchor are forecasting some really spectacular UFO sky shows. Yes, yes, finally UFOs. That's what I. This is this is what I read this for. I'm. All right, I bought these reports back in the day just so I can read this specific segment. I didn't care about any of the other stuff that's up there. By the way, the other stuff is actually really cool and great. You should probably read those, but you know. UFO sky shows that will be apparently persistent for weeks or persist for weeks. Yes, weeks, which, you know, if it's four weeks, it's a month. That's great. I hope it's four weeks. There's no number here, but, you know, that's awesome. Much of the delight of the global pop is few enterprising Yemeni kids will organize a, the safety of scientific exhibition and new, news crews to the center of the UFO activity. Oh, my God. Yes. Good job, Yemeni kids. Or, yeah. Good job to the Yemeni kids from the past to the future. <laughs> uh, these sets are indicating that the desert floor litter with UFOs will be visible in mainstream slash special shoot media and alternative videos in late 2016. Again, timing is a snitch. Timing is a female a dog. This is probably going to happen within the next two to three years. going to be weird times, guys. All right. These are primarily longer term sets in the supporting positions, but extensive cross links over to the markets in Arabia, Pop Enter T are more dominated by shorter term and immediate C data sets, which suggests that the UFO sky show is opening in the not so far out future. Oh. Or is not that far out in the future. Okay. Basically, we got some good UFOs to look at. I love UFOs. UFOs are great. They give inspiration to people, but not the, the worldview that you have right now, you know, that's not complete. You, when you look at the universe as an emergent process like I do, you realize any worldview that you build is always incomplete, no matter how beautiful or elegant that is. And so you must always be looking for new knowledge and find new uh, inspirations. And I find inspirations in this stuff. And that's great. I love reading this. All right. Many other new space-based uh, subsets are accruing at a very rapid pace as model spaces move from late spring, northern hemisphere, into summer. Okay. At that point, we have new Mars-focused sets, which include or which are pointing to a reveal of ancient alien archaeology. Bro, that's what's up. That's going to be the greatest thing ever. The <laughs> I can't wait to see this on like History Channel if they ever do. It's like, you know, aliens or not. Like the meme, you know, it's like, oh my God, was it aliens? It wasn't aliens, but it was the aliens. <laughs> All right. The forecast is for a discussion in the academic press about Mars, intelligence lives and buildings with other infrastructure that will be plainly visible. Yes, my friends. Oh my God. I can't wait for this. Dude, I'm going to make so many memes about this. Like, look at this, guys. Look at these buildings, homie. Look at these academic people verifying your worldview. By the way, my opinion on academia is academia codifies the past. It doesn't necessarily project to the future. Research and dev, I think, does that. But again, they, it, it links to the past and it asks sort of a question stream. Uh, you can think of questions like a tree. Certain questions lead down certain paths, certain branches, and certain branches end up uh, with fruit and other branches don't end up with fruit. Some branches, actually most branches probably end up with leaves, but m the the fruitier, the, the fruit branches are generally more sought, sought after. And by fruit, it, um, I mean like breakthroughs, like literal breakthroughs in thinking. At least that's how I think about thinking. All right, getting too meta over here. Okay, some of the sets are suggesting that the control over the photo photogenic stream, photographic stream from Mars will change hands. All right, such that unfiltered and altered, altered images are available for the first time to the global population. Dude, I'm super downloading those images and keeping a copy for myself because baller, dude. I mean, oh my God. This would verify aliens. This would this would just this would just open up so many people's worldviews. Many more people are going to come to the understanding that we are not alone, and that's going to be amazing for a whole host of reasons. And then we can really start, you know, going out into the universe and doing what humanity does best, you know, <laughs> getting ourselves into trouble or making ships and being creative. I prefer the latter one, you know, making ships and being creative and trading and doing all cool stuff. But you know. 
right now we're stuck on this planet because this technology is not out yet. So that's about it for tonight. Um, the powers that be, I won't go over that. I, again, my favorite section is this one. If you want to go over these, these reports are free to download. Uh, thank you to Cliff High for, or, um, yeah, thank you to Cliff High for making this free and downloadable. Um, and so again, this is my commentary. If you want to make your own commentary, go ahead and put it on YouTube because you can, you know, and you may have time because it's quarantine edition uh, on everything. So yeah, anyways, let's just, let's just uh, summarize. So basically new skin colors, new operating biochemistry, new physiology, new separating of generations, new tech dealing with coherences or coherences and which will eventually develop into how into a, like a rebuild or build a new in situ complete human organs awesome you know <laughs> pheromones used for hormonal responses so you'll see a new sense industry arising and of course there'll be some illegal pheromones because duh people do bad stuff with things you know but you know for the most part i think you know if i if we see the if i see the rise i'm probably going to call these guys and again my idea is make sense that go to the level of lucidity and help those people out because lucid dreaming is awesome. All right. Yeah, so we're dealing with time accidents and then it may be, maybe, right? Hinting to a secret revealed cross uh, link and that's good, you know, and dealing with softening local reality, all good. Um, and then obviously you got the breakaway guys and the UFOs that are attracted to the time accident, which is all good because now we can see these things or be more aware of them. Um, and then obviously because of all this stuff with the time, psychiatry is gonna take a hit, which it should because it just pushes out uh, drugs on people in my understanding. That's my opinion, not a fact. You should go look that up. But in my opinion, that's why I don't like psychiatry and my medications because it's just, you know, it doesn't work for like, I think a third. I'm not sure on that number, by the way, it could be high as two thirds, but I somewhere I read it's like a third, so you know. So that's good. Um, there's gonna be a new dish that's gonna develop in a continent, maybe Antarctica. I'm gonna say it, it's Antarctica because that just sounds cool. It may not be Antarctica, it may be the North Pole. You know, it may be somewhere in Canada, it may be somewhere in India, it may be somewhere somewhere. We don't know where it is. It's maybe, it's Cliff that says maybe, I'm just gonna go, you know what Cliff, you know what? I'm just gonna say Antarctica because I can and I will. You know, and then, you know, Expando planet model showing up, which is great. Um, and then you got the abandonment of the digital world um, for uh, the, the cause being because the new electrics and new magnetics are going to mess with the new digital world because we're going to be dealing with field theory and fields and you know as Cliff High was pointing out in in other of his, in more of his videos where you know we're talking about a ether theory and you know force fields and the force like Star Wars which is going to be cool. Um, and they're gonna be dealing with that on the academic and engineering media prior to making it to the prestitute media, which is great. And so with all that, we're gonna have new physics. And again, that's all great. Looking forward to that. Mm. And then of course you got the UFO sky shows in the U human geographic anchor areas. So that's good. Um, and then the Mars thing where, you know, you're gonna see unfiltered and unaltered images of Mars attention life and buildings with other infrastructure that will be plainly visible. Dude, that's gonna be so sweet. Again, I'm downloading those video or, or pictures and be like, listen guys, aliens, all right? I'm not saying it was the aliens, but bro, it was the aliens. <laughs> Anyways, that's that does it for tonight. Thank you for joining me. Um, a bit tired, need to get some rest. By the way, if you haven't, um, go try out Cliff's uh, uh, sleep thing from Pure, bulk um i hear it's good anything made by cliff in my book is good because cliff makes some of the coolest stuff ever and so you know big fan of cliff so go check that out he didn't pay me to say any of this he doesn't know i exist um he probably will eventually but you know cliff if you're watching this video if you can give me 10 to 20 minutes of your time to go over like out of body experiences and like lucid dreaming much appreciated oh, again obviously you don't have to have to i'm just some random guy with a mike and looking at your reports and stuff but if you ever listen to this would love to have you and just talk to you about that specific thing because i've been very curious about that area of um transcendental psychology shall we call it all right well that's about it um enjoy your uh day or your night thanks for watching the video see you guys around um i hope you enjoyed my witty commentary and my my blathering peace